Okay, hello to you, my Blender buddy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can create this really cool looking rock man. So we're gonna break him up into small pieces. And now I'm also going to show you how you can create a really useful rock material. And maybe at the end, we can do some animation stuff. Who knows? We're just going to see how this plays out. So if you want to create a rock man like this, the first thing you need to do is to go to, let me see. So I've been doing all kinds of weird stuff here. Um, to Mixamo.com. And um, you need to download this uh, mannequin character. So it's like a blank slate. And the beauty of this Mixamo site is that everything is free, so no worries there. And I found that this mannequin works best when you're going to do a, uh, or deform him into pieces of rock. So if you want to follow along, just uh, download this uh, character here. And let's get into creating the material. So we're going to use this sad little guy over here on the top of the mountain texting his girlfriend at home so we're just gonna click on him and we're gonna use we're gonna create this really useful rock material so let's just go new and we're gonna bring in a color ramp and we're also just gonna duplicate this color ramp and we're going to bring in a noise and we're also going to bring in a bump so this setup here is really useful so just take a photographic memory of it and uh, remember this little note tree here uh, so Plug the factor of the noise texture into factor of the color ramp, like this, and the color into the base color, and the color into the height, and the normal into the normal of this principal BSDF. So now what we can do is bring up the detail a little bit. So just go where somewhere somewhere between 10 and 15. We can scale it down slightly. And we can bring up the roughness. And we're not going to use this distortion, so that is fine. And with this color ramp, um, if we drag this white value in, you can see what's going on. It creates a separation between the rocks, like that. And if we want to have some more blackness or lightness into this, we can drag this up like this. Or better, just drag it down like that. So now we have this rock material man. And the key to make this look really good is the, the lighting. So I'm just going to show you really quick so so this character here looks better than this a couple of reasons for that and one of the them is the how the light is uh, uh, affecting the scene so i'm using a hd array or something like that this time uh, and um, just to show you here so if I, I'm also using a sky texture, so that's funny. I've been plugging in a bunch of stuff here. So let me just show you what I mean. So if I bring the sun elevation do, do, do. Yeah, there we go. So now you can see that this 
doesn't look good at all but now completely different look so just to show you how much the the lighting is affecting this um, everything we pretty much should do in blender okay so back to this lonely guy here so we're gonna break him up into pieces so i'm just gonna select him select his uh, phone and i'm gonna go shift and h and deselect everything and now we need an uh, add-on that comes with blender so just go edit preferences add-on and type in cell or cell fracture and check this box and also check this auto save so what we can do now is go to object and we can go to quick effects and we can um, go to cell fracture and here we have this uh, really easy window or really complicated I mean and so but the thing you need to be, uh, know about here is this horse limit this is sort of like the the core principle of this entire um, thing here so if you set this um, to a lower amount you will have um, uh, fewer lesser cracks if you set it to a higher amount you will have more cracks or um, and um, it also depends how dense your geometry is as well but this um, default for Mixamo works fine so let's just go with 70 this time and this noise is the randomness I can sometimes make it a little bit more realistic when you're breaking stuff up uh, but you're not going to use that now and this uh, recursion thing is sort of how you can break one rock is um, how do you say it also you uh, it is the um, it's creating a bunch of um, cracks inside one single crack so yeah so but the main thing here is the source limit so we can just go okay here and now this is calculating doing his thing there we go so when you do this you're gonna have an extra mesh so we're just gonna remove that and exit away then we're gonna select everything here and now we want to have some control over our scaling so if I scale it down now the reason this works is because I've been setting this here to individual origins so click on individual origins and you can so sort of scale this uh, character down like this and from here you can easily just fine-tune and do whatever you want uh, but the problem here is that when we scale it in the other direction just to show you in a different mode we're going to create this uh, blumpy bad looking character so uh, what we need to do to get some control of the of the both of the ways of the scale is to go to options here and transform and set this to location and also change this to medium point so now we can scale it the other way as well so that is really useful to know next thing i'm going to show you is just uh, to inspire you inspire you a little bit to create um, some cool stuff here in blender so if you select everything besides this plane and go to object and down to quick f no sorry to rigid body and set this to add active and then we're gonna go object rigid body and set this to passive and i'll hit the space bar now we can have this uh, cool looking effect there if you want to 
get more into this cell fracture add-on it's a bunch of um, super cool tutorials on youtube and uh, my twist was to is to do this uh, with a character it makes it way more interesting so um, and if you want to learn how I did this um, animation here you can see that I have an armature inside and the way you can connect these um, uh, parts to the armature is by hold clicking on one go into the armature and then go control and shift or tab sorry control and tab and then just select one of these pieces and go control and p and set parent to the bone like that it's so now that this part is connected and if you want to learn more about mixamo characters check out i have some cool tutorials on that uh, on my site where you can learn a bunch of stuff so feel free to check them out and if you can subscribe and like i would really appreciate that and have a great day wherever you are and peace out